running into a problem with this game. Where if I finish a session, and then I lo uh, like I customize some stuff, and then I log out, what happens is it deletes all my progress. Not all my progress, but like, it deletes everything I changed about my character and like the stuff I bought in the store. So this is the second time now where I finished an episode by doing store stuff. And then like I log back in the next day and I have to like try to recreate my steps as best I can for continuity's sake. It's happened twice now. Uh, it's not ideal. I'm not psyched about that game, about the fact that you do that. So we might get some slightly weird episode lengths in this playthrough because I kind of stall for time a little bit sometimes at the end of the episode by being like, I'm going to buy stuff at the store and talk about the new intel and stuff like that and read my emails. But if I do that and then end the episode and then stop and, and then close the game or anything, then uh, it deletes all the stuff I did since I first spawned here because I just respawned back here when I logged the game and, and it does like it. There's a save, but it's only save last checkpoint. You can't save now, ever, in this game. So it just deletes all the stuff I did, and I have to do it again. And that's just, like, not great. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm trying to do one ep- I'm trying to, to not end episodes in the middle of missions. So I'm trying to vaguely have this goal of, like, maybe we'll do, like, two missions per episode or something. Because uh, it seems to be roughly what their lengths tend to be. And then, like, I'll- I'll, whenever it happens, I'll just have to end the episode like the moment it spawns me back here after the conversation with whoever. Once I'm here, like that'll have to be when the episode ends, whether it's a 50 minute episode or an hour and 10 minute episode or whatever. Like, there'll just be like a margin of error surrounding and orbiting vaguely around an hour, but it's just like based around when, they, when the missions end. If that, at least for now, we'll see if they bloat out and it becomes, like, unreasonable to do that in the future or something. It's hard to say. I will say I'm happy that the missions suddenly had more story content. Like, the, the missions got a lot more interesting because we started interacting with characters and making choices. And, uh, getting past guards and whatnot. The first two missions I played just plopped you into a mission and you just shot your way through it and then they ended. And there was no dialogue at any point and no choices. But the third one which I think might have still been an optional one, technically, immediately did more interesting stuff. So I'm starting to see some of the potential here, because that was def that de it's definitely more entertaining when that stuff happens. Intercept Shah uh, Shahid and recover missiles. We have confirmed Al-Samad has received a large supply of Halbeck missiles at the airfield east of Jizan. Intel indicates Shahid and his lieutenants will be making an appearance. Infiltrate the airfield, recover or destroy the missiles, and eliminate Shahid. This is it, Mike. We can't let either the missiles or Shahid get past us. Shahid's here to oversee the transport of the missiles. We can kill two birds with one stone. You need to get to the control tower. Check the transport logs. Once we have those, we can pinpoint the missile's exact location. So nothing on Savile. We're going to need you to transmit the exact coordinates. There's a lot of area to cover, and Alsamad knows how to hide their stockpile. It showed him in the truck with his dark vest, and I genuinely thought that... Oh. What the fuck, game? How the fuck did that person find me? This is some fucking obnoxious stealth systems, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Where'd that guy even come from? <laughs> oh, I'm getting... And I'll remind you, stealth is now my highest stat in the game. And I have people sprinting at me at my spawn point because they somehow detected me. I don't remember, sorry, I need to remind myself what evasion is. It keeps popping up. There's so many abilities. Provides you with the panic button for sneaking. If an enemy is about to spot you, evasion will activate on its own accord and give you a brief moment of invisibility. How often? It has a five minute cooldown. Shit. So basically what happened is just now while I was in here, I almost got spotted again by... F fucking someone. 
I don't even know. I don't, is it because the door is open and that's an open shelf between me and the door? So somebody was going to spot me through that? Like, whatever- what? Wait, is that guy? That guy's yellow like he's about to detect me. What? Like, that triggered my evasion. My, eva my evasion just j get out of jail free carded me out of getting detected. But like, by fucking who? I'm ha I'm amazed by this game and its self system. I'm like, wait, what? How? How is this real? I'm so confused that this is real. Like, on some level, it's realistic, because in, re in, re in real life, your ability to stealth would be, like, non-existent. So, like, I get that on some level, but, like, video game stealth is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to take... I was trying to take cover. I gotta turn this down a little bit. Uh, it's making me yell. But like, uh, like we, uh, like, yes, video game stealth is unrealistic, but like, we all agree, usually, that that's for the best, because having to genuinely not get seen by real people would be, feel, it would feel impossible. It's like, real life stealth missions involve a lot of patience and staking things out for like, hours at a time and hiding away and, you know, not revealing yourself. So we accept the stupid Metal Gear version of a stealth. Where you like, I'm wearing camouflage, they can't see me. Because <laughs> like, that, that, that one's fun mechanically. But then this stuff happens and I'm like, how is- Okay, that's kind of indefens indefensible. They're just magically detecting me through several walls across an entire map. At the spawn point of the mission. It's where I spawn. That's not fair. I'm a little confused, didn't I- haven't I played this mission already? But like, during the day? I mean the night? I'm a little confused about what's going on right now. I guess I'm just trying to find those missiles. There we go. Some of that bonus accuracy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is the place we bugged, so I guess our bugging worked out and resulted in us finding the missiles or something. That's good. Checking the logs now. Oopsie. I saw it and I slightly miss input. The missiles aren't anywhere near the runway. Looks like they're being held in a munitions depot in the mountains. Checking the satellite imagery now. Looks like there's a small trail that leads to the rear of the depot. Marking it on your PDA. On it. Oh, so we're not even in the right place. Interesting. Did the alf- did the- the, like, alpha icon indicate- Not that it's the big important mission- <laughs> Did it indicate not that it's the big important mission, but instead that this is the, uh... It was me following up on the bug I placed earlier? I think that is what's happening. Is I placed the bug and now I'm- going back and retrieving the bug and finding out what it was supposed to teach us. That's neat. A little continuity. I definitely airdropped into like the end of the fight or something because like there was more level before that last time. Whereas here this time I started at the ending building. I'll show you security cameras. Fucking come at me bruh. Shotguns for life. Oh boy. They're still seeing me. Shut up. Ooh, money. I can only hope that I'll have a hundred dollars on me when I die. Who wants to be the guy that dies and doesn't even have good loot? That's the original path. I knew I was near it, but I didn't realize that was exactly it. <laughs> was here. 
Levels got more interesting, at least visually. The, uh, the plain graveyard. Fuck you, cameras. You gotta love just randomly scattered briefcases of money. Ooh, rewards. This is just a random lockpick option. Is it worth experience? Perk required, breaking and entering, 100 experience. Yeah! How many perks do I have? There's so many. Oh, it just gives you 100 experience. You pick 10 locks. Okay, so yeah, just, just grinding it gives you rewards here. Hack 10 computers. Suave. Testing the waters. That's the nonsense one that didn't really ever make sense when I got it. This kind of strange. Yeah, my next... My ne I, I was looking for that ability earlier, but I don't have it. So my next, my next level up will give me... Yeah, my next level up of shotguns will give me sweep the room, which is like the big like buff mode for shotguns where you're like, now nah, I'm super shotgun boy, and you just run around and take everything out. You're coming up on a weapons depot. Get in and take care of those missiles. Gate sealed off. Must be another way around. All right, check out the surrounding buildings. See if there's another route inside. Sup? I was invisible for a second. That's my magic ability that activates once every five minutes. I was invisible, so he, I was right in front of him and he couldn't see me, which is funny as shit. I really hope they're expecting a returning patrol. There we go. I, I wonder what the controls are even are for those kinds of moments. Because you control it with your two joysticks. Almost all the minigames are designed around the controls of the game, of a, of a controller. So here's one that you control with your two joysticks. Here's one that you control with the uh, sensitivity of your triggers. Nothing up here. I think it's just a chance to be like, ha ha, and fuck with somebody. Haha, now you're all dead. But then they all just shoot me to death immediately. Is this guy coming up here? Thanks for coming. Oh, even brought me shotgun ammo. What a giver that he is. So you can only sprint for a little bit and you quickly run out of meter, but I don't think there is like back in the camp. any visual that tells you how much meter you got. You can literally watch them all turn yellow. Like, me me just walking from a great distance away is the most suspicious thing in the world to them. This weapon just knocks people on their ass. Fuck doors. Ow. Well, he tried to contribute <laughs> for a moment. I'm teleporting, aren't I? You need to get to it before they roll out. Once they're mobile, our job gets a lot harder. Yeah, I know. On it. I don't think I'm imagining that. I think I am teleporting every now and then. 
when I go into certain zones. It's tripping me out, man. I feel like I'm imagining it, man. Ah, ah, ah. Shut your body, shut your body, shut your body. Hey! Totomate. That's what I want. That's what I want. Rude. Hey! How are you dodging my shotgun so at such close range? It's amazing. What a dickhead. Uh, they, you can shoot through that? Why weren't they shooting through it? That's weird. God, my rifle's strong. I'm not entirely sure if it's even worth it to use my shotgun, despite the fun it can be. I guess that the fun is its own reward, isn't it? Fourteen AP. All guns cost the same amount to use. Accuracy plus two, yes. Upgrades your crits. Hey guys, it's me, your best friend. Looks like most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower. No, Shane, but your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shahid's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles at once, Shane? It's Shahid. Should I take the so, shot? If we do that, we lose the missiles. But if you can still intercept the convoy, we have a chance. Looks like he's got a lot of ugly with him. That's not nice. He's covered in horrible Damn, burns. Like the convoy's already headed out. The road the convoy's on snakes through the mountains. If you use the foot trails and move fast, you may be able to catch it at the checkpoint. Great day for a jog. Where did he just throw that? I'm genuinely unsure of where he threw the grenade that he seemed to have thrown. Cause I just didn't see it ever pop up again. Okay, so now we're now we're doing like a string of missions in one go. So you don't always have to do the whole loop where you do all the briefing and everything. How do I roll? Shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm also here. Pay attention to me. Why won't anyone pay attention to me? Running out of time, Mike. Shit. I guess shotgun mode's the way to go. Fuck, I can't run. Up on the top of the bridge. Looks like Shahid's second in command. Whoop! Oh, they'll be on they'll be here any minute, so we're already there. That's good. Ow! Ouchies! Ugh.
Whew, that's not good. I'm about to die. Sure, we can pretend we were in a fist fight. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'm in less of a hurry now, but I didn't... I don't... Uh, I could use a health pickup right about now. Uh-oh. Oh, no! I didn't see the zipline notification. That was my cover button. Okay, health is low, but my armor's back, so that's good. Come here, guy. Come here. Perhaps not ideal. Flashbang, remote mime shock trap, EMP charge. That probably wouldn't hurt. That's not great damage. Woo boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Ooh, a little bit of health. Ooh! Well, that's important. Oh, did I already fire the shot? Where are my explosive grenades? Do I have to equip them manually? I keep picking up explosives and I don't know where they are. If I pick up explosive grenades in the middle of a mission, can I not use them if I didn't have already have that be one of my pockets? Am I only put it is it going directly into my like my stash? What? This should be plenty winnable. God, that's that's all the bullets. That's not great. His head's got to be ringing by now. Good job, Mike. Now be careful. Check to see if Shaheen's still breathing. If he's inside, I think he exploded. He might be standing unnecessarily close to him. So, you thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world? I had a mission, I carried it out. Yes, and I would commend you. But you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. of Nasri. I was expecting a more mercenary. Welcome. Have you come to kill me as you killed my followers? On behalf of the American government, I am here to take you into custody, Shaheen. Behalf of America? 
America answers only to its wealth. Coming from one of the richest men in the Middle East and son of a privileged family, that seems ironic. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at Helvet's feet like a dog, hungry for its weapons. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole? They shipped them to you. Then brand me a thief? You said Halbeck shipped the missiles to you? Why? I will tell you nothing. If you are ignorant, nothing I say will change your mind. I think you'd be surprised. I suggest you tell me before I let some light shine into that skull of yours. Go ahead, then. Shoot me. Shipped them to you? I'm not looking to shoot you in the head right now. If you have something you think I should know, I'm listening. So you may use it against me in your courts? I think not. I'm serious. If Halbeck's engaged in weapon trafficking, they're going to court along with you. I don't work for Halbeck. Ah, and neither did I. A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen, Miss Data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Elbeck uses you, but you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I believe you, but evidence would help. The missiles are not enough? Perhaps not. I have other information, and I can obtain more. You mean if I let you go? No chance. I give you my word. If you know anything about me, you know I honor a promise when given. When you see Helbeck for what it is, I will come back and speak to you again. I will not hide. And I will bring proof. All right. I'm willing to see it. What is this proof? Call your agency. Tell them I am dead. But remove yourself from the area first, before they call. Give false coordinates. Unless you wish to speak to your help next. Where are you going? I will contact you. They think the information I can provide will be worth the time you have spent looking for me. Dell with Shahid. And the missiles? I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Your first priority is to... Westridge? Westridge, do you read me? Mike, get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. Get out of what here. What the hell? to being evidence? How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not cleanly, no. But it had to be one of your handlers in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a short list. And I'd like it to be shorter. Any other facts you can give me? If I knew more, I'd share. No one knows I'm talking to you right now. We'll figure this out. For now, I need a way out of Saudi Arabia with the information I got from Shahid. Already on it, Mike. Thanks, Mina. And thanks for saving my ass. It's my job, but you're welcome. Besides, I don't really like the idea of anything happening to that ass of yours on my watch. That was an interesting response. I'd like to follow up on that. Later. Just stay alive, Mike. All right? Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. 
It's to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol's the only thing protecting you right now. Well... Things got interesting very abruptly, didn't they? Okay. So the choice to spare him and let him go felt like an odd thing for that character to do in the moment, but as the player, I'm getting all these bizarre flash forwards about like a conspiracy that's being unraveled and an interrogation about it and so on. And that guy is the guy that runs Halbeck? And it's like it seemed like it did seem like it'd be my best interest to have uh, Sahid in my best in my back pocket as being alive and feeding me intel or something, given the weird context of those flash forwards. Even though that's not necessarily the the basis under which my character is making the choice, but it's hard to ignore that information when they're giving it to me constantly. And then immediately I'm getting attacked by by Halbeck. So they're saying that one of the three handlers was the traitor that gave away my location to kill me. Hmm. I think that I, 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 I'll just go ahead and call the obvious twist here and see if we'll see later if it's true or not. But I think she did it. And like she's, for all I know, my rogueness might not even be true. For all I know, she's just lying to me to make so that she can manipulate me into doing things that she wants me to do because she'll be the one that controls all the intel and can tell me what missions to go on and so on and so forth. Because she can cut me off of Alpha Protocol and outside sources of information. But also, it's just the go-to. She's like, hmm, one of your three handlers is the one who did it, huh? Could it be that guy or that guy? Because you're inherently kind of thinking of the two people that aren't the person currently telling you this. But it would be, like the go-to would totally be to have her be the one that did it. And, and have her be the one that uh, is the person who, who tried to wipe me out. Except for the part, the part where she was warning me about the missiles, but maybe she saw it as a chance to get my favor so she could use me to her own ends. Like, give away my location for a missile strike, but then not be very committed to said missile strike, because the missiles didn't hit me. They, they supposedly had my coordinates, but they weren't nearly good enough to actually kill me where I actually was. Like... Despite the warning, my character doesn't even try to run, he just kind of stands there like, whoa, and then is fine, because they missed. So she might have give, intentionally given them co my coordinates, but slightly off, so that they could then attack a location and, and miss him. Although maybe they just want to attack them. There's, there's a lot of potentials here. We don't, we're not operating on a ton of information. I'm still analyzing the information I got from Shahid, but so far it checks out. He's been busy. And so is Halbeck. So there was a connection between al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there. Or had. As for Rome, it looks like an al Samad cell was activated. But I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald Sung, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. I need to get this information where it will do some good. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's gotten inside off a protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons... If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Just because they tried to drop a missile on me doesn't mean I'm giving up on my mission. If Halbeck's trying to manipulate world events, it's my responsibility to stop them. 
Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a cold war... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. Specialization. Now that you've completed your first operation, it's time to select your specialization. Each specialization favors three skills that can be leveled up to a maximum of 15 ranks. So everything else is capped out at 10, I guess. Select Commando, Spy, Engineer to specialize in combat, infiltration, or tech use, respectively. Alternatively, you can choose Operative to select a custom trio of specialized skills. You can configure any uh, skills you've gained up to this point. Using the remove rank to refund and spend AP. Oh, I get to respect my character. Spies. Engineer. It doesn't tell you what most, it doesn't tell you what the three things are. It just says. Uh. This one says automatic weapons and physical conditioning, so you're like, okay, your toughness stat and your rifle stat. Engineer. Sabotage? And the other computer skill, I guess? Spy is killing from the shadows. That's kind of unhelpful. So let's pick operative, because so then I can just pick what I want. The dangerous and morally suspect world of espionage weeds out the rigidly minded. Most agents find their own way to live life and specialize in unorthodox variety of skills. I'm thinking assault rifles, toughness. I'm not crazy about sabotage anymore. I don't know if I really want to be a, tr a, tr a trinket guy. In part because they, um... Your gadgets are single use, so you have to worry about how many you have and constantly restock, and it's... I don't know about consumables on that level. It's so much easier just to shoot a dude. Like I'm thinking assault rifles, toughness, maybe martial arts, maybe technical aptitude. More healing from first aid kits. Carry more gadgets into mission to reduce the downtime between gadgets and skills. So cooldowns. Is sabotage still my ability to... Uh, oh, that's my 50% ca cash bonus thing. I thought I had it already. Oh, I did have it already. Yeah, this is still my infiltration stat. I might still want to get it for other reasons. Because it's used to open doors and whatnot. You can do hacking at a distance and stuff. And more and more ha uh, money from those certain sources. Hmm. But the main ability is disappointing because I don't know how much I want to like amp up my next throw necessarily. I do use melee in this game when things when people close gaps on me. Stealth is just so finicky that I don't know if I want to actively engage with it is the issue. 
At this point, it's been a bit, and I got and I specialized in it directly, and it just kind of kept not helping. I do still want to keep my five points because awareness is a really cool stat. This gives your weapons more ammo, get more ammo off of enemies, better healing kits, makes your healing stronger, extra inventory slot. Reduced, uh, reset your cooldowns. I think I think this is gonna be the thing. It's just like a bunch of cool perks. Increase the damage of weapons you own. Plus three damage on all weapons. This seems to be the good third stat to have. <clears throat> There we go, I'm going to do select. I'm not sure if I want to be down this path. I definitely want some points in assault rifles. Twice as normal amount of ammo, goddamn. I might keep this where it is. I don't know, how much is this 50% cash bonus going to come up? I think it's only happened once so far. Because most of these abilities aren't things I'm going to use very much. I can get like another two points into assault rifles here. Let's do that for now. Oops. I catch my progress? Okay. Done. That's the correct button, not B. The reporter. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track of her. Guess you've got limits after all. I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. Scarlet. Now we're picking a location to go down. Okay. Moscow, Rome, or Taipei. Here's the non-linear part. This is why there's a region select screen. Secret fact, according to the intelligence obtained in Saudi Arabia, Saheed has been working on behalf of Halbeck using his near diplomatic immunity to act as a go-between for a part of the of the immediate and future profits Halbeck will reap when the de from the destabilization of these re locations. John Darcy, Leyland, Mina Tang. That's the new character, Ronald Sung, age 49, Taiwanese, president of Taiwan. A career politician, Ronald Sung's pro-independence politics have made many more people, many powerful people, very nervous. Many other presidents have talked about declaring Taiwan an independent nation from China in the past, but none have gone so far as declaring it, as the act would likely provoke an invasion from China. 
Sung, however, seems set in his plans to do so, and the fact that his support still holds, holds strong has caused international attention as diplomats and other politicians wonder if Sung will win, and if he'll go so far as to follow through on his promises. Moscow safe house. Hmm. Deus Volts, True Heirs, and Blood Feud. I guess I can just go wherever. It can, it can affect the- I think it can affect the other things, because like time passes. I don't have a ton to go on. I know that when I dealt with the last guys, they said that they were going to pull an agent from Moscow because the Americans have found him. Which now it makes more sense because Moscow is one of the other future playable areas. Let's try Moscow. An Alpha Protocol safe house in Moscow, which would serve as a base of operations, blah, blah, blah. Check the path of the missing missiles that were shipped to Saudi Arabia through Moscow. I think I've got you beat. You ever been a pushy woman in the heart of Arabia? Once. Lost a bet. Cute. Yeah. You could keep that up the entire flight, I bet. Did you already have plans? I was going to invite you to slow down. You're right. It's a long flight. Plenty of time to get your name and hotel room. Wow. You just come right out and say those kinds of things, huh? When I'm not putting my foot in my mouth. By the way, I'm Mike. So, Mike, when you're not getting shot down, what do you do with yourself that would bring you out to this part of the world? I'm in claims and acquisitions for Halbeck, apparently. Still getting a feel for the job. Oh. That was my reaction. Or was that an O, oh, as in I've never heard of Halbeck? Oh, as in the sense of yes, I've heard of Halbeck, military and construction contractor. That name comes up a lot in this region. That's right. So if you're familiar with the area, that would make you a... Those your legs? Other page. Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Hmm, I heard she's on this flight. Photojournalism, isn't that a bit dangerous? Scarlet. If there's no risk, it's not important. You may be onto something. Here, call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. What if I want to call, just to be endearing? You should call someone else. Wow, you're tough. It seems to be endearing, unfortunately. Yeah, but strip off that tough exterior. Mike, your persistence is bordering on dense. Maybe, but is it working? <sighs> your... Uh, I have work to catch up on. Yeah, and I should, uh... Good night, Mike. What did she just do? Wait. Wait, did I just get drugged? How? Welcome to Moscow, Mike. How do you like your new apartment? Limited access, secure building, high-speed internet. This will work just fine. Anything else? Like... Like the view? Oh yeah, could be a sniper risk. I might have to put up heavy curtains. Always the professional, Mike. All right, down to business then. Do you have a plan of attack for Moscow? I've got a few leads from Saudi to follow up on. We'll see where those take me. Sounds like a solid plan. What will you follow up on first? Not sure yet. The missile launchers were moved through Leningradsky Station. There might be intel there. I've also got a CIA informant codenamed Grigori and a mob underboss called Lazo. Finding those missiles is important, although more information would be helpful. But from his file, Grigori looks like the type who would sell information about you to interested parties. Lazo might be able to provide some leads too. Getting the lay of the land would be helpful. I'd rather not walk into an ambush if I can help it. Smart plan. Call me when you have anything. Mm-hmm. 
Should we get up to date on the what's it's and the who's it's and the things? A devastating attack on a US base in Dahran has left several Marines dead. An early morning raid by members of an as of yet unidentified group killed 20 soldiers and left over 30 injured. U.S. military sources say that the weapons used in the attack were more advanced than they are used to seeing, and that they suspect the munitions were supplied by a major arms dealer. Terrorism. Still a threat? Authors from best-selling books on terrorism say yes, and point to a recent rise in incident. That's why I recognized her. She's the same- she's the host of the news station we keep watching. How did that- Did I just take these things from the other place and bring them here? Why do I have so much identifying stuff in my office? Aren't I supposed to be an anonymous spy? Having my name on the wall and also the buddy thing seems like a mistake. If we're trying to be anonymous and all that. Who was I playing backgammon with? Fuck, this is a next level apartment by the way. Give, please? This, this game fails the shit out of the bookshelf test. You can just see... Uh, Mind's... Imin? Whatever that book is, just repeating every like seventh book over and over again. They repeat like crazy. Glass eye? I probably didn't need to take his glass eye as a trophy, but yours are so passe. Take his glass eye as a trophy. Didn't even realize I- wait, who did I- Oh, the burned guy. I took his eye out? Jesus. Mina wrote way to score. I think she custom framed it just for me. How oh, nice. Way to score? Well, this place is nice. Probably echoey, though. There's a note from Parker here. The agency made me give this to you. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, they were being cute about the fact that I did the tutorial things, and they made them three plaques around the arena based on those. So this area, like, gets customized based on my behavior. I still have a customized screen. This is too big of a bathroom. It's just so much. So, I, I, yeah, I totally thought that I recognized her, but I wasn't quite placing it. And it's because she's the, she's the exact person we keep seeing on the news. Scarlet. It definitely felt like she drugged me, but then nothing came of that, so I'm not sure if that was the implication. But I went from zero to passed out so quick that it was weird. Oh, great. Picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamation points. Why- why is he such good friends with me? Like, I assumed that my reputation level with him affected these items spawning around my base or something? But like... At this point, like, we've moved location, and I suspect him of having, uh, been the person that tried to murder me. So why did I take these with me to the new, uh, safe house that I presumably had to come to on my own? Presumably everything here was in my baggage or something. It's weird. Oh, it doesn't do anything. I was like, what does the weapon locker do? The answer is nothing. It's just my pause menu, but physically located in the environment. Stay care remote mine. I'm not usually crazy about remote mines because you have to activate them manually usually. Yeah, detonated by remote control. Incendiary bombs though, but boom. Explosive grenades. I didn't have my bombs in my inventory and now I do. So I guess if they're not already equipped, you even though you pick up the ammo during the mission, it doesn't go into your inventory for, of usable items, which is strange to unpack. Scarlet Lake. Funny thing. Hey, Mike. Funny you ha how, how you have a Halbeck email account, and your name is listed in the company directory, but you don't even have a voicemail set up at your office. So let me guess. You're a K Street lobbyist, and Henry Leyland set you up with a no-show job. I'm guessing this whole Mike Thornton name is just a cover. Well, whoever you really are, it was nice to meet you. I spend a lot of time on planes, and 90% of the time, they seat me next to old ladies and screaming kids. Scarlet. Well, it's good to know, it's good to know I was an upgrade over screaming child. Mm -hmm.